Hey guys, welcome back to another EDH video. Today's video, I'm playing Slavoon of Sea and Sky, keeping three islands, a dispel, a herald torn, a force of will, and a wander wine prophets. Toby is back playing Dr. Madison Lee, keeping a Helios one, Wayfarer's Bobble, Talisman of Creativity, a Brotherhood, Verbird, a Robo Brain Warmind, a Whirly Rogue, and a the Motherload Excavator. Justin is back playing Sin Triplets, keeping a Plains, Evolving Wilds, Exotic Orchard, Tranquil Cove, Island, Bonders Ornament, and a Mana Geode. Tyler is obviously here playing Azumi, Lady of Scrolls, keeping three islands, a Spellbook, Soul Ring, Ice Crown Scepter, and a Pondering Mage. I start off in the play. I play an island for turn, then pass to Justin. Justin plays an Exotic Orchard. He then passes to Tommy. Tommy plays a, or Toby, sorry. Toby plays a Helios 1. And then plays a Wayfarer's Bobble. I have to reread it because I thought he said something else. He then passes to Tyler. Tyler plays a Island. Then plays a Soul Ring. And then plays a Spellbook. And then passes to me. I draw my card for turn. I play an Island. I then play a Stony Brook Banneret. And then pass to Justin. Justin plays an Evolving Wilds, tap sack, sacks it to go find a land. He then passes to Toby. Toby plays a Exotic Orchard. He then plays a Talisman of Creativity. He passes to Tyler. Tyler plays an Island, follows that up with a Trinket Mage, searching for an artifact he actually fails to find. Because apparently the only two that he has is, is Soul Ring and spell, spell Book. He then passes to me. I play an island. I then play Saloon of Sea and Sky. I then pass to Justin. He found a Plains with the Evolving Wilds. He then plays a Swamp. And then plays a Mana Geode, Scrying 1. He then passes to Toby. Toby plays an Ash Barrens. He then taps 2, 3 for a Whatever the heck that card is. A Brotherhood Vertibird. Whatever the heck it does. I think it's a vehicle. I don't know why he put it up there. It's supposed to be crude. He then passes to Tyler. Tyler tries to cast Azami, Lady of Scrolls. I force will it. Uh, exiling a... I don't know. <laughs> uh, he then Pact of Negation is my force will. And then I dispel his Pact of Negation. So we just kind of both went down two cards there. But it's fine. Uh, he then passes to me. I play a Herald's Horn, naming Merfolk. I then swing out. I swing both of them at Tyler. And I draw a card off my Saloon. I then pass to Justin. Justin plays a Island, or a Plains, and then play, pays Sin Triplets. He then passes to Toby. Toby plays a Silver Bluff Bridge. It enters the battlefield tapped, and it's an indestructible land. He then swings with his thing, but he's not supposed to be able to do that because he has to crew it, but we didn't read the card. He then passes to Tyler. Tyler plays a Pondering Mage after playing an island. He then plays a Siren Storm Tamer. He then passes to me. I immediately just swing. I swing Slavoon at Toby. I then swing the Stony Brook at Tyler. I drop a card. I pass to Justin. Justin targets Tyler with the Sin Triplets. He plays the Ice Crown Scepter out of his hand. Don't know why. I don't know how that works. I don't know if he's allowed to use this. Use this, the uh, Cycl Cyclonic Rift out of the Ice Crown, but he didn't. So it doesn't matter. And Cyclonic Rifts the Storm Tamer to Tyler's hand and then plays it because he can play stuff from Tyler's hand. I don't know. Sin Triplets is a confusing card. He then passes to Toby. Toby plays a Sky Cloud Expanse. He then plays a Paladin Dan's Steel Maverick. Whatever the heck that card does. Never seen that card. Fallout cards are cool. He then passes to Tyler. Tyler plays an Asami Lady of Scrolls. His commander. And then passes to me. I play an island. I then play Roaming Throne, naming Merfolk as well, because Merfolk is what I'm playing. I then swing Slavoon at Toby. And the Stony Brook Banneret at Tyler. 
I draw two cards because of my Roaming Throne. I then pass to Justin. Justin plays a Tranquil Cove. Gains one life, but I don't think he actually does it on the phone, so... It's okay. He then plays a Soul Ransom, choosing a Zombie. So, he uh, Tyler taps his Wizards before uh, Justin does that. In response to that, pretty much. Um... Justin then taps his Siren Stormtimer to draw a card since it is a wizard and he controls a zombie. Uh, he then passes to Toby. Toby plays a Whirly Rogue, creating two Thopters whenever he enters the battlefield. He then swings a bunch of stuff. He taps, taps two artifacts, makes one of his things unblockable. Swings at Tyler. And then Tyler plays an Island. And cast a step through, bouncing the Sin Triplets and the Azumi to Justin's hand, and then plays. And then Tyler plays a Thought Vessel. The zombie went to Tyler's hand because it's actually his. Uh, I play an Island, and then pay, I play a Emperor, <laughs> Emperor Mahil the Second, and then do what Merfolk always does and swing at Justin with my Slavoon. I draw two cards. And then play a Soul Ring. Look at the top card with my Hell, and it's not a Merfolk, so I don't cast it. Justin then attempts to play a Sin Triplets. And I tap two and counterspell it, because I don't want my hand to be messed with. Sin Triplets is awful. He then plays a Sealer Removal. And passes to Toby. Toby plays a Robo Brain War Mind. And then proceeds to swing. Swings all of them at Justin. Then passes to Tyler. Tyler plays an island. He then casts a zombie, Lady of Scrolls. Just assume every time there's wizards untapped, he's tapping them at the, the end step that is before his turn. Uh, he then passes to me. I play a coat of arms, naming Merfolk. Well, actually, I don't have to name anything because they automatically get the, the plus one plus one, so... I swing the Slavoon and the Stony Brook Banner at Justin. Justin casts Seal, or does the Seal Primordy on Sacrifices, but I cast a Seclinic Rift. So this is, actually doesn't work, so this is illegal. I didn't know that until after the fact, but you can't bounce before Sacrifice, before, like, in response to the Sacrifice, because it would already be Sacrificed. He, I pass to him. He just plays the Seal of prim, uh, Removal. And then casts a Bonder's Ornament. He then plays an evil twin, which Tyler says, you know what? I don't think I want that on the battlefield, because that's going to copy my zombie. So he counterspells it. I kind of said, like, you know, the, the evil the evil twin should have targeted the roaming throne, because that would have been much better. But uh, Justin passes to Toby. He full swings at me. All my stuff's pretty big, because I have a lot of merfolk. So I'm like, why is he swinging at me? But then he just exiles his thing, gives them all indestructible. So none of my stuff dies. I think one of his things die. I don't know. I don't think. I think. I don't know. It is. It's confusing. Uh, he then passes to Tyler. Tyler plays a Teferi's Ageless Insight, and then passes to me. I play a Brass Herald. Enters the battlefield. I look at the top four, and uh, see if there's any Merfolk in there. There was no Merfolk. Three islands and a muddle the mixture. Uh, I then swing my Slavoon and my Stony Brook Banneret at Justin. Justin bounces the Stony Brook Banneret to my hand. Uh, I draw two cards, obviously. And he just takes the damage. I then replay my Stony Brook Banneret. And I pay one mana from my Emperor Mahal trigger, because I cast a Merfolk spell. And I create a 1-1 one -one blue Merfolk. I then pass to Justin. Justin plays a clone, choosing a zombie. Uh, in response, Tyler taps his zombie. I think he's just trying to trick Justin into uh, thinking he's going to counter that. Uh, Tyler, or Justin taps his Siren Storm Tamer and the Bonner's Prodigy to draw two cards. He then passes to Toby. Toby taps a bunch of mana, plays a Panharmonicon, which is pretty good in the precon. 
I think it's like a 10 buck, 10 bucks for that card. I'm not actually sure he might have went down. He then full swings, as he's been doing a lot. Uh, all at Tyler. Tyler casts a vapor snag, vapor snag, and then flashes out Naru Meha, Master Wizard, and vapor snags two of Toby's creatures to his hand. Toby then passes to Tyler. Tyler taps out his stuff and draws cards, obviously. He then plays an island. He then Raven forms my Stunnybrook Banneret, because that's the only one that can really get through. He then casts an Ingenious Prodigy with a 1 plus 1 plus encounter on it. Not sure what the point of that was, but you do you, Tyler. You do you. He then passes to me. I play a Distant Melody. I draw cards equal to the amount of Merfolk I have. I then play a Deep Channel Mentor, making all my blue creatures unblockable. Tyler casts a Disdainful Stroke. I Fierce Guardian ship it, because I want my blue creatures to be unblockable. So that's my one win con. I then cast a Jeweled Lotus, which isn't really relevant right now. I then swing at Justin, just enough to take him out. Then pass to Toby. Toby plays a Thirst for Knowledge, drawing three cards and discarding one card, because he discarded an artifact. He then plays a Brotherhood Scribe. He then swings two 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 adopters at Tyler. Tyler takes four. Tyler then plays a Brawl Chief of Compliance. He then casts a Teferi's Tutelage, which means whenever he draws a card, we mill. He then casts a Brainstorm, so he draws six cards here because of the Teferi's Ageless Insight. He mills me for 12. He then casts a Time Warp. So he takes another turn after this. He then casts a Bonafide on my dude that makes my stuff unblockable. He then taps six Wizards, drawing 12, so milling me for 24. He's drawing double from the Teferi's Tutelage. Because he's drawing a card besides the first one he draws. He then casts a snap snap snapcaster mage, which means he's going to get another turn after his extra turn. He is now on his extra turn. He plays a laboratory maniac. He then taps all his wizards and draws cards. Effectively mills me out. So I lose whenever he passes to me. He then plays as many miscellaneous wizards as he can, trying to either deck himself or mill Toby out. He plays, I believe he plays uh, 24 wizards or 22 wizards. He, he, he taps them all and draws, uh, I believe he draws 25 cards and he had 24 in his library, so. So he has 12 wizards, okay? 12 wizards or 25 wizards, something like that. 25, 25 cards, 12 wizards, 13 wizards. I don't know the exact number. There's a lot of wizards there, okay? But anyways, he effectively draws his deck out and wins because of Laboratory Maniac says you basically can't lose if you... You know, you basically says you win. That's exactly what it says. It says you win whenever you deck yourself. So, yeah. Good game, Tyler. That game was an hour... And 12 minutes long. That was the most brutal commander game I've ever played. It was just, I had like 15 counter spells in that deck, which, I mean, it's no surprise. That's what Mono Blue does. I mean, that's kind of what my Mono Blue deck does. I just like to counter a bunch of stuff. So that's why it lasted so long. It was all my fault. And I had to edit all of it. It was, it was the most amazing time of my life. I, I it, was, it was great. Anyways, if you guys liked that video and want to see more of Toby and Justin, leave a like, subscribe comment down below uh the amount of times we messed up because i probably didn't catch all of them but yeah i'll see you guys later check us out on patreon peace